they come in so suddenly. Don't you know to knock before you come in? Well, you know, yeah. they used to have a horn or something. Yeah. And we've tried to arrange to get a telephone put in here on the set so they yes. can call us and tell that, us that, that we're going to be That would be nice. And the doorbell just rattles me real bad. I have a sweater today that I think looks like a test pattern. Do you think I look a little like a TV? Do not adjust your set, ladies right. and gentlemen. This is only a test. Yes, it Don't does. Don't you think it looks like uh -huh. a test pattern? Just a little bit. This is my TV sweater. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but it and is. And this looks like Lammy has been laying on it. Looks That's, like cat hair. Uh, Do I have cat hair all over my back? Just a little. Really? Just, just a little bit? Some, yeah. yeah. Okay. You need well. one of those things with tape. You know, well, I have one of those things, Laban, but I just, well. It's I, hard to get to your back. It's in a hurry, alone. besides. <laughs> how can you do it? You have some you roll it a back leg. Roller. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, what are we, what Where's are that we witch? doing? Where is she? Come Where is she? Here. Is Woo! she over there? Oh, yes, she is, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> she did a little thing uh -huh. around there. Circled around. Boomo. Now, do you want me to read this? Yes, if uh, you would. Okay. I think we only need to uh -huh. twice boiled water. That's mm -hmm. what we're having today. It's a new Chinese dish. Uh -huh. twice, twice boiled, boiled. water. Dear Peking boys, style. roses are red, violets are blue. Got fruit salads just from you? The doctor says I need more fiber in my diet to correct a condition in my colon. <laughs> Thank you, Laban, for, for uh, having the witch bring this. I uh -huh. thought a colon was a punctuation mark, but anyway, the Sawbones says a good source of fiber is in fruits and raw vegetables, and isn't that true? What can you do for me? Ada Oates Bran of what is it, Roughage, Nebraska. Uh huh. Well, it just so happens <laughs> that today is your lucky day. You're we, right. We're going to do fruit salads. And uh, it, it's really a roughage day. <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> Can I do something first? Yeah. Okay, because what happens is I have to stand around and, and wait for, uh, I have to wait for my, Your pot my gelatin to become gelatinous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a blueberry salad sent in by Violet Johnson of Mechanicsville. Virginia, oh. a lot of good mechanics up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. they work Real, on cars all the time. Just a whole there. bevy of them. So up anyway, there. but I'm working on but but but. Uh, what do you Violet call, works on blueberries? Huh? What do you call a bunch of mechanics? Like you know, a, a clutch of mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so bad, so bad. But anyway, this thing calls for. It's a gelatin type thing. I hope you won't hold it against me. No, <laughs> but no. I'm going to do it anyway. It calls for. Uh, using some kind of gelatin. It has a particular brand name, but yes. you know you could use most any kind. And in fact, I am because it was cheaper than the other kind. And this in particular is, uh, bless you, one of our camera people has come down with a bad well, cold. Well, they've all been sick. Got the snorts. Actually, I think he has distemper, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, that's right. He Andre got shots for it, didn't yes. he? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. he's all right. Uh, Looks mix, good with that dog collar he wears. You got to mix the gelatin with a cup of hot water, and it says a half a cup of cold water, but you know the instructions on the thing says a, a cup of cold water. So I did it in accordance with the instructions on the thing. And the reason I got to get this started is because I've got to cool this before I do the rest of it. So I got to cool it. And then add your cold water in there. There we go. That's the cold water. At least I hope that's what that was. And now you just got to stick this in the refrigerator until it becomes slightly gelatinous. <laughs> It'll never happen in our life. It lifetime. doesn't matter because I have the real one in there oh. waiting for the rest of the recipe. Yes, we will. Or we could put ice cubes in it. I wonder yes. if we have any ice cubes. Oh. As a matter of fact, we, we do. do. We do. But uh, throw, throw them down on the floor. That's the best one. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll throw some ice in there and that will... Hustle this thing along just a wee bit. All right, that's it, Johnson. Oh, that's wait a it. minute. You've left an extra cube here that oh, will I'm melt sorry. and run down your leg or something. All right. I'm doing a little fruit salad that was sent in by our dear friend, Annie Masters of Roanoke, Virginia. And Annie sent this to me and didn't know we were going to do it on the air, but it's a wonderful salad, so why not? You need two cups of orange slices, and I want to show you how to do the easiest way to do an orange. And sharp knife, and cut off one end. That's not quite enough. You need to uh, cut off a little more, so I'm going to take off another about an eighth of an inch, and then do the same thing on the bottom. Cut it off until the orange flesh shows. 
Okay, now we throw this away. Now this is really easier than the way we used to do it with... What's that name of a drink? Soft drink? Orange flesh? Uh, oh, no, please. <laughs> you just cut vertically along the white rim and get rid of that all that pith. Beg your pardon? The pith, the, the part. You know, Doris told me she likes to eat this white part. Oh, nobody eats that. Well, Doris well, it's does. It's bitter. Who would... Doris, no wonder you have such a... Uh, a what? Uh, a Serbic uh, <laughs> attitude sometimes. Because uh -huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> well, she eats the bitter stuff. Anyway, that's what an orange looks like. Do you need undressed. a pith helmet when you're uh, no, no, taking no. that off for protection? And just cut it, and we're going to cut it into sections. And here we go. And we're going to need two cups of this, and it'll take just a little while to. To, oh, well, take your time, Johnson. Right. Oh, have you we got have the other biggest portion of the show still ahead of oh, us, and I'm practically right. finished with well, mine. Well, I'll just <laughs> pick these up. Oh, I'm, I'm going to open a can now, Laban. Oh. I have to open this can of uh, pineapple chunks, and make sure that you get chunks. You know, Mr. Johnson one time couldn't <laughs> tell chunks from what was it you I got? I know. It was crushed. It crushed. So make sure so you get the I. chunks, it says so, right on the can. And I need to drain it. You need to drain everything, your berries and your, well, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Go ahead, John. All right. Well, I'm continuing to peel this. This is about four regular-sized oranges. Um, these are not the one, the little bitty ones where you get a whole sack of them for something. This is, these are a per orange, but not the most expensive ones. I mean, we're still trying to be cheap here in as, however much we can. Ooh. They are seedless. Don't that, doesn't that pineapple chunk smell good? Mm-hmm, so mm -hmm. do these oranges. They certainly do. You know, back in the Middle Ages, they used orange skins like this as a deodorant. But you know, it was did so difficult to keep the oranges under your arm. Well, it was, but that's what they did. They actually squeezed oranges and things. Is and, that so right? Mm -hmm, put them in their clothes so they'd have a deodorant. Because, you know, they didn't have all the nice soap products that we have today, and they smelled bad. Uh -huh. Real bad. I guess uh, the oranges is how we started the roll-on craze. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't see <them> around. <laughs> Well, I never thought of that. That's probably true. <laughs> well, that's why I'm on the program, Mr. Uh -huh. Johnson, you know, to, to add all Bring in those uh, commonsensical these, uh, highlights. Some little highlights uh -huh. and lowlights. Right. Well, now these oranges all go over here into the measure, and that's four, four. I had two in there, and I peeled two here, so that's about four oranges. And I'll wipe this off while Larry does something else. Okay. <laughs> well, strangely enough, I do have something else to do. This calls for blueberries, lots of blueberries, and that's why it's called a blueberry salad. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> interesting. Now, at this time of the year, when we're doing this program, whenever that might be, you can't get fresh blueberries. You can most of the time now, but we're just hit that one period of the year when it's difficult to find them. But you can use frozen ones, and so that's what I've done. And this is an entire package of frozen berries. And at this point, this stuff is starting to set up just a little bit. It really is it's starting to get just a little gelatinous. Doesn't need to get very far. So you add the package of blueberries, and you don't want that juice in there. Make sure you drain them pretty well. I thought I had them all drained out. As you can see, I missed a little something. And a 20-ounce can. I think that's what that is. A 14-ounce can. A 20-ounce can. <laughs> it's a, one of them cans about as big as your hand. And that goes in there also of pineapple chunks drained. And at this point, you will just mix this stuff. And now, you will set it in the refrigerator until it sets up real firm. And then I'll show you what else goes into it. Johnson. Thank you. I now need a cup and a half of sliced fresh strawberries. Use fresh, don't use the frozen ones in this one because they're almost always full of sugar. And uh, the strawberries are just beginning to come in from the other coast. I guess all of them down the south of here were froze to death, but uh, these are pretty good. We had a friend that was working down there and brought some up here, and they were just out of this world from down in FLA, Florida. But we're going to just keep slicing. You're capping them. 
Mm -hmm. Just pull a little. That's what cap that's on. called, ladies and gentlemen, capping uh, belt. Right. I thought that's when I put my hat on, but no, no, no. We used to do that old. Now you're slicing them. Mm -hmm. Previously, you were capping them. And these uh, strawberries have been washed thoroughly. Thoroughly. I saw them running them through the washer earlier today. So those of you that like to call in and complain about. Well, while you're doing that, All let right. me do something okay, else here. Let's go right ahead. In anticipation of the next portion of the program, I'm taking just a big old block of uh, cream cheese and I'm going to put it down into a Pyrex thing. And this is, I think this is eight ounces. I don't seem to remember anything. Eight ounces, indeed. And I'm going to put this down in here because we're going to, it's already softened. It's very, very soft, as you can see. But I think it needs to be a little softer still. So I'm going to take that and put it in a microwave oven for just a wee little bit at a very low temperature and warm it up just a little bit so that it'll pour. And to that, we will add some pecan chips. Do Ooh. that in a couple of minutes. Mr. Johnson, go right Are on. they like potato chips? Mm -hmm, they're real good. All right. And I'm doing the last strawberry. This is about a half a pound or one and a half cups of sliced strawberries. Now we're going to put all those down in there and we're going to put in some, wipe off my sticky hands. Now we're going to put in some uh, little spices and first we're going to start with a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And I had, oh, if I can get it open, I had this open, this cinnamon left over from my Christmas baking and just sprinkle that cinnamon right in there. And uh, then a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And let's watch Doris jump. Doris, where's the pepper? And the salt, now get it, it's right up here. I've got some She up says here. it isn't, and she's gone to a far corner well, of the studio it. to get it. No, I've got it right here. You need Caracha, just a little, Caracha. an eighth of a teaspoon, just a little dab of salt. It says and optional, you she could says. Leave it out. Says optional. That's why she's and then uh, huffy here about is it. the. Uh, well, I. This is, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of of pepper, black ground pepper. And if I can get it down in here in this huge. And it ought to be freshly ground, but we don't have the pepper mill here today. I don't There's need to the, use my knife. My choppers are perfectly good, Ms. Torres. And then we'll need a, a quarter of, I'm sorry, a, a tablespoon of honey. Well, take your time on that honey well, there. I'm just, you know, it takes a little bit here to, <laughs> to do it. There's the honey. Oh, and, yeah, we got uh, I'm not worried, and, Jim. Uh, and a tablespoon of olive oil. And this is my own oil that I do that's got lemon in it. I gave you some last do year. Do you raise Christmas. this oil yourself? Uh, I do, there's mm -hmm. freshly He has an oil farm, ladies and gentlemen. Olives. It's a pretty slick operation. <laughs> Listen to that. Oh, I can't believe it. Let me clean well, this. Well, someone's got to add a little humor yeah. here. I think it's a right dull show thus far, yeah. don't you? You know, what can you do? You sit some around, days make... in the kitchen, that's right. It's just that's dull. Right. And you know, sometimes it's hard to come up with something to do with fruit. All right, now let me uh, toss this around. <laughs> and, I'm right tickled. And I don't know this, what about. This has got to marinate. Marinate. Marinate as they say here. For at least 30 minutes. So I'm going to just stir this around. Why don't we just sit and watch it marinate for a uh, while? We could. What do you think? All no, right. I've got some stuff to do. Right. I have these uh, readily chipped pecans and I have heated this uh, cream cheese up a little bit so it's now very, very soft and delicate and wonderful and lovely. And what you do is you add about half of the container into the cream cheese and mix that all around real good. Like so. And that becomes sort of a part of this whole thing. And here we have the actual this has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight, and so this is all set up with the blueberries and the, and the uh, pineapple. There you go. Now what you do is you take this stuff and spread it on top. Am I doing okay thus far, Doris? Doris does, uh, she looks rather unpleasant today. I just, she, she didn't want to come. Not sure she exactly what she it is. Me. She didn't want to be here today. She just doesn't seem her old chipper self She wanted to today. stay home on her porch. and. 
Uh huh. <laughs> so anyway, you put this. So you have to have this stuff softer. You'd never be able to do this. You would wreck, literally well, I can't wreck believe it your gelatin. Worked. Well, of course it works, Mr. Johnson. I'm a pro. <laughs> anyway, there you go with the. <laughs> he, he laughs. And then what you do? Oh well, I'll save the last step for a couple of minutes from now. Let me give you the recipe, by the way. All right. Mmm. Blueberry salad. Two cups of fresh blueberries or frozen berries thawed if you don't have them if they're out of season. Uh, one three ounce package of raspberry or blackberry jello or any other gelatin will do. One twenty ounce can of pineapple chucks drained. A little water, cream cheese, and chopped nuts. Pecans preferred for the top ing. And what you do is you, you use up half of them. Would you two strong? So anyway, uh, that will cross conversation while I'm trying to. So anyway, take the remainder of the nuts and spread it across the top like this. And it just becomes lovely beyond belief, ladies and gentlemen. It is so pretty. I need a frying pan. See, that's what. <laughs> and a hearing aid. <laughs> if you could possibly get her a hearing aid, that would be nice. What are you doing now? And that's it. That's the whole thing. Oh, Isn't no. Isn't it just lovely? It is. It is. Now, Mr. Johnson, what are you doing? I'm tearing up some salad greens. Well, and, take your time. And, well, I will, and then I'm going to toast some pine nuts if Doris can show up with them with a frying pan. Well, she's pan trying. To do it in. She's trying, but you know she usually is trying. Well, she is <laughs> one she's of the most trying people I've ever worked with. She's especially trying today. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now she brings over the mother of I, all frying. If it's pans. okay with you, Mr. Johnson, I, I think I'm just going to sit down and have a little bite and okay, run. Well. I, I have things to do. Oh, I could make a comment right now, but I won't. All right, now we need a tablespoon of roasted pine nuts. So, toasted. By the way, the Cook Sisters are around today oh, when we they? get a well, chance. Let's, let's you want, bring them what, in. What are you going to do with those? Toast them. Oh, okay. Well, while the old pine nuts are cho toasting <laughs> on an open fire, here are the Cook Sisters <laughs> coming by to say hi, and then we'll have Doris and lots of other things, and hopefully seven or eight more Fill minutes worth time. of stuff. <laughs> oh! Well, I've got those TSP powers. <laughs> ESPN. Oh, whatever. Oh, it my is. heaven. You know, you huh? can make your own wine vinegar if you take five gallons of spring water and put them into 10 pounds of crushed raisins, and then you let it sit for about a month where it's warm, and you'll have your own wine vinegar. What? Vinegar. Oh, oh. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook, and, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. All right, the girls are always wonderful. Yes, and they did you are. see that levitational thing did. you did? That's amazing. That really is. Uh, how are those? Uh, well, old they're doing good. Pine let me nuts do, let me do my recipe right now, and then we'll bring out uh, Aunt Doris. All right. All right. You need two cups of orange slices, a cup and a half of strawberry slices, a quarter teaspoon each of cinnamon, ground pepper, and maybe an eat. Uh, an eighth of a <laughs> teaspoon of salt, or you could leave it out, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of olive oil, and about three cups of salad greens. And my pine nuts are beginning to... Now you're just doing that with nothing in there at all. Just, just to, put them that's in. just dry. You have to kind of flip them a little bit. Oh my and, heavens, I could have had my eye put out. Uh -huh. Can you smell them? I mean, yeah. do they get brown, or what yes, happens to them? they're getting brown. Because I've never done this before. Sort of like popping popcorn, except it never pops. Well, you don't want, you got to watch them. You don't want them to burn because that would be nasty. But they're doing fine. Should we have Doris out? Yeah, might as well. The then very we'll toast lovely. her. <laughs> Doris, how you doing? Oh, excuse me, that's the wrong thing. Hi, I had to do. A she gets her own <laughs> mic now. Oh, here we go. My Part bad side. Okay, Part of her uh, new a, a simple. Uh, it's called a simple six-cup fruit salad. And it's sent in for, by Bethany Dalton, age nine years old, from Blacksburg, Virginia. And uh, all you do is ta take one cup of uh, mandarin oranges, 11 ounces, one cup pineapple, seven to eight ounces, one cup coconut, one cup marsh miniature marshmallows, one cup sour cream, and one cup grapes cut in half, seedless. And um, you make sure you drain your oranges and your pineapple and then just mix it all together and that's it. It's a very simple recipe anybody can, can do. And then it is a good one for children. Because like I say, she was only nine years old that sent this recipe in. 
And that's it. Well, it looks good. And we're going to find out in a few minutes. She says, I never let her talk until she's okay, finished well, tonight. Okay, now, okay, now I'll talk. And the reason I didn't want to come, I was sitting on my nice greenhouse room in my nice lounge chair with a nice mystery book. And I didn't really want to come in. Okay, Doris. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnson. Well, my pine nuts are toasted to a perfect turn. Oh, they smell good, too. Yes, yes they do. So I'm going to put the pine nuts into the... Salad. What we'll a special this salad this is. And now we will take the fruit. And the fruit is over here in a plastic bag because I did it earlier so that it would marinate enough. And Larry, if you will uh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I was putting let's my say, stuff away. Pour all this down in here. Uh oh. Some and that's, now that's the marinated yes, stuff. With the olive oil and the cinnamon and all well, that. Now and I now we've got to toss it. This is a stunning salad. And I'm doing it just like I would do at home. Very delicately with your fingers. Uh -huh. Fingertips mm. only. Fingertips only, ladies and gentlemen. Only fingertips allowed. And the olive oil and the juice from the oranges make your salad dressing. And your pine nuts will give it a little, little bit of crunch. So there is our salad in my hands. Are well, I've, now, I've uh, not seen a salad quite like it. I will have to say of all my salads down through the years, that one is very different right. from anything well, I've seen. Do you have actual salad utensils that we might uh, uh, sure. get right this? Over here. Uh, he always remembers everything, and he has oh. all two spoons. Okay, oh. well, that's as good as anything. It'll it do. really is. <laughs> Dragging our tails behind us. Uh. Ooh, that smells good. I don't think you've got enough strawberries, so let me. Well, don't you shortchange right me on my strawberries. And here, let me give you. Oh, well, I'll let you get that salad first. Aren't these pretty salads? They really are. They're very lovely salads. It's our salad days. We are getting a little older than we used to be. And uh, I'm going to take a little of this gelatinous mess, mm -hmm. although it smells delightful mm -hmm. and it's just full of good and spring your thing over here. All right. So I certainly I can... don't want to have it in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. As you are prone to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me make sure that you get one of these. Yes. You, well, I want you to have the full complement of uh -huh. it. Yes, that's it. That's all you're getting. That's all I that's need. That's the greatest of plenty. There's enough sugar in here to put us all into tomorrow. Uh -huh. Well, well, I'll try your salad okay, and see how I'll it is. Okay, I'll try yours. Mm. Uh-oh, the whipped cream has gotten tough. A whipped cream has gotten tough. There is no whip. Oh, the cream, cream uh, cheese. cheese. Oh, has it really? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Mmm, but that is good. Well, I like the salad you did, Johnson. It's most interesting, but I haven't hit the first pine nut. There's one. Mmm. Just like eating a pine tree. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see how Miss Doris's uh, marshmallow mess is here. Mmm. Tastes like just like coconut marshmallows mm -hmm. with some other stuff thrown in there. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. How could you go wrong with that? Well, you couldn't. Well, well you're right. This cream, delicious. this cream cheese has a tendency to get a little on the. Well, I mean, it's not hard or anything, but it's just strange. Tightens back up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we, I think we've got some good salads here. Well, I'm not sure what I think about the cream cheese on top of this sweet mess. Do you? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love these pine nuts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. That's our salads, ladies and gentlemen. And they're real good, and, and we like them, and most of them, including mine, are healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Look at look at Jim Hammerstrom standing there like he's directing. Mm -hmm. Well, he doesn't know. And this is just the kind of salads that this crew is going to move in on the minute mm -hmm. we get up from this table. They're going to be on this. They're going to be on this sugar fast, oh, you can I say know. whatever. Except Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike oh, Carroll. No, that's yeah. right. He better he, stay away yeah, from. Yeah, he won't do it. Mm -mm. Because he it's can not fall over him. like me if he eats uh -huh. too much. That's right. That is true. Well, this has been so much fun, and it just seems like it'll never end. Just ring the doorbell before you come in next time, will you? <laughs> <laughs>